A member of the House of Representatives sees nothing wrong with the name and shame of identifying those allegedly involved in the illegal drug activities. But he adds that there should be sufficient evidence to support such humiliating and definitive actions. This report by Sweden Velado. An Ifuga representative calls for due process and use of rule of law for families and relatives of victims of extrajudicial killings related to nationwide war against illegal drugs of President Rodrigo Duterte. Itutuloy ko pa rin yung aking uh, panawagan na magkaroon kami ng investigation sa Congress at itutuloy ko pa rin magsalita laban na dito sa extrajudicial killings. With regard to name and shame or publicizing the names of politicians, justices and police officials involved in illegal drug trade, Congressman Bagilat said there is nothing wrong with it as long as there is sufficient evidence. Kung meron talaga tayong ebidensya din kasuhan, no? sa akin naman mahalaga na ito yung political will na talagang supoyin natin yung droga. Hindi lang yung mga maliliit kundi yung mga supporters at saka yung mga protectors. No? Bagilat share this is no different with presented list of names connected with PDAF scam before except it went through due process in the National Bureau of Investigation, Ombudsman and Sandigan Bayan. The congressman hopes that the name and shame list is reliable so as not to stain the credibility of the president. This after the inclusion of the name of one justice in the list who is already dead for 10 years. For the PTV News, Sweden, Velado. Ako po si Cathy San Gabriel. Subscribe na sa PTV YouTube channel. I-click lang po ang subscribe button.